regular hexagonal lamina of side 30 mm is lying in such a way that one of its side touches both the reference planes touches both the reference planes we will try to do this problem with the help of side views okay side view problem it is only one inclination given that is inclination to HP that is 60 degree okay so, <coughs> so in this problem I will try to do with the help of side view okay so first I will draw an XY line right x y v p h p okay so we need to construct <coughs> the hexagon with respect to the on the x y line here so dimension 30 we should consider okay uh, keep the protector and mark for 60 degree okay because it is an hexagon okay okay draw a line of uh, length 30 mm passing through that 60 degree angle point okay the same way we can uh, <coughs> do it for the other reference point angle 60 degree okay draw a line passing through that angle point for 60 degree okay 30 mm so Okay, now you can again keep the protector at that another uh, that reference point mark for again 60 degree so twice you have to use it here okay and draw a line of length 30 mm passing through that angle point okay same way <coughs> we'll keep the protector here at this end also we mark for again 60 degree okay So draw a line of length <coughs> passing through the triangle point. Length we should we should consider 30 mm. Okay. So I can join this. mention the naming a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash and f dash so you can mention the dimension also here that is 30 mm you can mention it dimension of 30 so project it downward to complete the top view of this uh, position okay so the top view of this we can get it on the x y line so on the x y line we get the top view of this as a straight line okay so that is a b okay so that is what the top view so in this problem we need to use that side view so that's why i'll be drawing profile plane so that is x1 uh, y1 plane uh, i'm drawing okay so the side view of this um, first position will be a straight line okay on that x y line x1 y1 line so we get a straight line so that will be the side view of this position okay so you can mention f double dash f double dash e double dash a double dash b d double dash similarly b double dash and c double dash okay this is what the side view of this position so now you have to consider 60 degree inclination to HP. So keep up, keep the protector at this reference point. Okay. Mark for a 60 degree. Draw an uh, line passing through this 60 degree point. You can draw a line here. Okay. And <coughs> take the compass and measure this vertical line length. We need to tilt it. Okay. It is like your uh, side view problem of rectangle okay we need to tilt this lens okay with the help of a compass so we're tilting at an angle of 60 degree okay so you can show with the arrow mark direction in which you are tilting okay and then we need to reverse it back to draw the front view of this position okay so just project it backward 
the same way you can project it backward here in this position also okay so you can show the aramac direction in which we have been projected the lines here okay so you can <coughs> write the notation we'll write is f1 dash e1 dash okay intersection of this a1 dash d1 dash okay b1 dash and c1 dash okay so now we need to join this where the intersection is occurring right so you need to carefully see and join okay intersection of the particular particular uh, lens we need to so that is what the e1 dash can join here so this is what the front view of the inclined view okay inclined that's what the inclined view so here again you can join and in this position also you can join okay so now we have to draw the top view of this second position how we do how we draw that so here uh, keep a reference point at the intersection of x y and x1 y1 mark for 45 degree okay mark for 45 degree draw an angle line passing through this uh, point okay so you can show the angle 45 degree okay so now project it uh, downward from this side view we have to project it downward okay so you can project it downward from this uh, side view to the 45 degree angle line okay so and then from the from this point we need to draw horizontal lines also okay so you can draw the straight lines okay so now we can uh, project the lines from the front view also okay so now we can mention the namings here so here <coughs> we are getting uh, f and e here okay so you can see so that is our a point and that is our d and uh, this is f and this is e okay and that is b and that is a so we we going to join join that okay so we are going to join that so that is f double f1 double dash e1 double dash so we need to mention that okay b1 double dash and c1 double dash and here we will write this one in one okay all the things we are writing it in terms of one here now you can join it to construct the top view of the inclined hexagonal lamina okay it is what inclined at 60 degree okay inclined view okay so so that's what it completes the problem okay so the problem is completed now